Hi, I'm Vincent Rajkumar, Professor of Medicine at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm here at, at the ASCO annual meeting in Chicago, June 2018. Um, there were a number of interesting myeloma abstracts that uh, were presented at this meeting. Uh, the five most important ones that caught my eye are, number one, the CAR-T trial using BB2121. Uh, this trial uh, is just a phase one trial in relapse refractory myeloma patients. It's showing extremely high uh, response rates and MRD negative rates, and the median progression-free survival is about one year, which is much longer than what we have seen in the past with other single-agent trials. So I'm very impressed with these results. There is more to come, and uh, we need to wait for phase two uh, trials to be completed. Uh, three other trials looked at better ways of giving existing drugs. Uh, there was a trial looking at giving carfilzomib once a week instead of twice a week. Now the once weekly regimen is going to be easier for patients to use and more convenient and it shows equal activity, maybe even less side effects. Uh, we need to figure out the right doses but this is something that is a very important thing for patients in terms of quality of life. Uh, carfilzomib high dose versus low dose was also presented and it doesn't look like higher doses um, make uh, have too much of an impact. Again, we need to see how this works out in combinations. Uh, finally, there was a study looking at uh, subcutaneous daratumumab versus intravenous and it looks like the subcutaneous route is effective and certainly very convenient for patients given that it takes many hours to infuse daratumumab. Uh, finally, there's a study that was done a long time back, but it's very important nevertheless using palmolidomide, bortezomib dex versus bortezomib dex. And this trial, as expected, shows an improvement in outcomes with the triplet combination. Uh, again, a very useful combination for the use of, uh, for the treatment of patients with relapsed refractory myeloma and um, uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with the results. So these are really my top five. I, it's not in any particular order, but I would conclude by saying that to me, BB2121 looks very impressive, uh, just eagerly waiting for the drug to eventually be approved uh, for use in the US.